very claustrophobic. Sure. Um, one thing that seemed to be missing, and we were talking earlier tonight about Reading Municipal Light Department. I'm sorry? Reading Municipal Light Department. Yeah. So we have a muni-owned light department, and while they may have some questions with their sale of trucks and procurement, <coughs> they also have extremely low prices. Exactly. And so I, I'd be interested in your thinking about the importance of- Very, and I think I, I may have skipped <laughs> over that. I think you, you didn't touch that electric rates. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't see I, that. I, I I'm sorry. It. I was okay. looking at the screen. But that was one of the things that we pointed out as very important. And for certain businesses, you might imagine those that are power intensive, Wow. So do you have data on um, the competitive environment for the kinds of businesses that would be interested in low-cost <coughs> energy as a leading indicator? Um, I think we do, but I'll follow up with you on that. Uh, what we do know is I can, because we look at it, we know what the kilowatt rates are for every town in the city. Right. And, and you guys look pretty good. I mean, one of the interesting things about Holyoke is Holyoke got <laughs> the giant green computing facility. Because the computing facility, which is one of these super, super computers, uses <coughs> an incredible amount of, of electricity. But Holyoke has hydro. Yeah. And it's, it's renewable and it's, and it's cheap. And that's why the state put it there. Um, and, and they turn the machine on and the rest of the state doesn't go brown, which is kind of neat. <laughs> Other questions? Professor, thank you very much. This has been really illuminating. I, I went through the study for the weekend results and it's, uh, it's a little like a Rorschach test for your town. What do you make out of it? And, and uh, it's really quite illuminating. Well, in my spare time, I'm Sigmund Freud. So you think you see a frog? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. talk about kind of how these two go together and then some other stuff on economic development plan that we've been doing. Um, so, um, as I said earlier about how we're looking at the permitting process and how it dovetails completely, which was somewhat unexpected that it would match perfectly, um, but that um, point about checklists as a guide, permitting flow charts, um, special permits and site plan reviews being administered by one board. I think that really um, brings home the point of how important that is. Um, having it be a user-friendly document and zoning not be as confusing as it is, is, is important. It's what businesses look at. It's, it's good for our residents. It's good for the community. Um, and having a bylaw that will clearly say what's allowed and what's not is going to be a good thing. Um, so. The one other thing that I wanted to make the point of is that we were recently awarded funds to create a strategic economic development action plan. So this was a $15,000 grant from the state. Um, it's called the, um, it's called the Priority Development Fund. Priority development fund. There we um, it builds on the Priority Development Plan, and we talked a little bit about that when we did the survey, that we worked with the Metropolitan Area Planning Council, our regional planning agency, to put together a priority development plan. If we looked at the town, where would development make the most sense and where are our priorities? So we have the plan. This takes that plan now to the next level and says, okay, now we know where we want the development. How do we make it happen? So we're gonna go through a visioning process with the um, idea of, okay, again, what's the right amount of economic development and what does economic development look like for the town of Reading? probably something very different than, say, what the town of Burlington would think of as economic development. Um, and we're going to get some market analysis in, there, analysis in there so we can understand um, the market a little bit more. We're going to do goal setting and some strategies on how we reach those goals, like 
in the next year we want to have X number of you know, new establishments or X number of more square feet in our office space. So it will be something that you can quantify. Quantify. Okay. Actual goals. No, we're not going to say, gee, it'd be great to be more business friendly. No, we're going to say specific things. Steve, when you say who does we mean? Yeah, it's the Metropolitan Area Planning Council that they have a team of planners that will come together and engage the community, much like we've done with the zoning process and have public forums and have workshops and really get to what does the town want to do? What is the town okay with? And then they'll go back and say, okay, you can do this, you can do that. That's probably some of the things that Barry was saying, you know, other towns do this and other towns do that. And give us some- So is that how you spend the grant? Or is yes, so yes. The grant is spent with the planners through metropolitan- Area planning council. Area. Basically like having them come in as consultants. Okay. So, so similar to what we Advisory committee, will we also have a special committee that's focused on this? Yeah, no. I, right, I don't think we've gotten to that yet. Yeah. So, well, I'm just saying a group that's focused specifically on this. So, is that just open in general? Um, yes, something emerge from that, like the committee that you introduced this evening around zone. I guess that's, I think that's the track mm -hmm. you're on, mm -hmm. Marcy. Mm -hmm. um, or is that something that, so like, so Jack's here tonight, and he's an associate member of the economic development committee, but I mean, I mean, is that where this goes? Or do we create a special group like we did, like was done with the, with the zoning? Is that, is that the way we go I, I think it's really probably needs to be defined a little bit more. We, we haven't even, we literally just got this yeah. mm -hmm. um, award. So we kind of have to meet with the group and kind of figure out how this might go specifically to see if it makes sense. Um, you know, yeah. th it worked well for the zoning project, yeah. no question. Um, so I guess we'll just uh, have some more discussion and Bob and I will hammer away. And well, it seemed to have worked so well that it would almost make me wonder that that isn't that. Because the work that this ad hoc committee that we just extended, they were really driving, they were driving the kind of the reorg, you know, for another long-standing committee to work with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so maybe that's the right answer here, is that you do the same thing so that, you know, you're driving, you know, a, a plan, you know, to the <coughs> Which is a currently I don't know if that's the right answer. Yeah, we, we the EDC has to reach the next step. Right. And uh, right now we need to find the direction to get to the next step. I wish you had your brothers and sisters with you tonight. I wish they were here too. <laughs> they missed the presentation that's just kind of sad. <laughs>
was the, the two top drivers for businesses coming here were very changing. It, it's very easy for us to right. adapt to those mm -hmm. two things that, that we were. Well, they were our biggest weakness, but they're the most fixed. Fixed, yeah. yeah. It, 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 I it agree was fast period of time. I thought that was great. And, and we've got the best message. Once you package it, but that one and two, we only put the best outcome, the best uh, uh, promotion. So I think we've got a, a great story. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I was just talking with Barry on his way out, and I asked him, I said, we're having great trouble getting to potential businesses and knowing where to go to find potential businesses. And he said he could help out a lot, and that he would. And, and Jeannie mentioned that, one, he loved you, and two, that, <laughs> <laughs> and two, that uh, ha have you get in touch with him and, and, and define that process. Okay. Don't say that in front of my husband, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Any questions from the board? Any other questions? Yeah, sorry about the hands in the uh, chart today. Uh, yeah, Dave Tuttle, uh, CPDC, and other things. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how familiar the, the rest of the board of selectmen are with the MAPC and the NSPC, which is the North Shore Planning Council. I mean, uh, Jesse has been uh, a leader of the liaison, however you pronounce the word, uh, to the NSPC, which is the, the North Shore subset of the MAPC. And I, uh, I'm on their bandwagon as well, because we're paying attention, we contributed to a certain extent to the strategic planning or the priority planning uh, activity that they went through over the last, I guess it was 18 months. Uh, so we're familiar with it. It's, you know, yet another group that's hard to keep up with. Uh, but it's something that we definitely uh, want to take advantage of as much as we can. Thank you.
historically has been more part of the checklist. But I think we need to reach, and I think we need to do some multi-year kind of activities and not just say, well, if you didn't do that in a year, you failed. You know, it's step one. And, and of these 30 some odd goals, generally the results are pretty good. Some of them are clear failures. Um, I pretty much know the reasons for the, the failures. And a lot of it came up in our retreat. It's a lack of marketing, lack of time, lack of interest in doing that portion of the job, if you will. If you look through the things that were not complete, the very common theme is communication. And communication is not, not finished. And um, I guess I'll say this. services that could, you know, 
get to know us as a as a client, um, and literally for a fraction of the dollars that you know a person would cost, you could have more than six Back to the point of goals, uh, one thing that strikes me is we should unquestionably have a smaller number of, I think, multi-year goals that are less operational and more aspirational. Mm -hmm. And if, if you don't reach it, it isn't a failure. You have intermediate milestones. One of them could be that the marketing effort of the town, I, I view that as the highest level umbrella, which might be the first car in Professor Bluestone's chart, I think the seventh car. If you set that up as a two-year goal with a bunch of intermediate milestones, find a consultant, develop a local team, get the map scene involved. Um, if it took three years rather than two years, that's fine. You still are, you're still directionally moving. Um, but I think the operational goals to me feel like it's, it's business as usual, right? You got to measure that isn't really going to change the game. Yeah, I think this is right because for me, potatoes needs to be done well. Right. And you need to keep your eye on it. Right. 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 Many other intersections in town. Uh, I think, uh, slice on 
doing site visits. Right. So, yeah. And I, I tend to err on the side of safety, and if there's an extenuating circumstance, you can look to it and locate the yeah. yeah, policy doesn't go right there. Except they have to kind of go around and see how many of those are going to see. I um, might inherit it, and you have to be prepared for it. Are you prepared to ask them on it? All right. Um, I think that's it. I will entertain a motion to adjourn on the So, so uh, was that we're adjourning to an executive session? Uh, mm -hmm. Not tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. favor 5 0 at uh, I have 